Some of the hair. Oh. And the... Ah. Das ist sehr zu mein. Lass die Waffe fallen. Ich schieße. Schäfer. Mich. Das ist sehr zu mein. Das ist kommt da hinten nach hinten. Schäfer. Mich. Gott. in this room. Damn, I hope you be English. Where am I? You're in Port Noir. There's a little village on the south coast of France. It's a village without boutique, or club med, or t-shirts. We've managed to avoid the 20th century and tend to be dead before the 21st. It's quite a trick. Who are you? 
Who, me? I'm the dog, Jeffrey Washburn. The dog. And you? We need to notify the authorities. People might be looking for you. What's your name? Where do you live? I need to know where to send my outrageous bill. It's a miracle you're alive, old son. My head, I gotta sleep. Just your name. Hmm? You do have a name. My name. My name is. I've no idea. My God, I don't know. Sometimes, with rest, everything comes back. And sometimes, nothing more than bits and pieces, ever. The trouble is, you see, I, I'm not a brain surgeon, and I may have disconnected some wiring in there, fishing out bullets. Bullets? It won't help to concentrate. Relax. Let images float in, let the subconscious mind have a chance. This boat, what happened to it? Why was I on it? Somebody shot me. Why? I have to remember. It won't work that way. You said there was no report of a trawler lost or any boat lost. What else? Nightmares. As violent as anything I've ever seen. The kids from the village come up to watch. No commercials, you see. In these nightmares, you speak French, Spanish, German, and something Oriental. Can't remember those either. Also, you've undergone plastic surgery. Plastic surgery? Yes, your nose, chin, cheekbones have been worked on. What? As originally, you looked different. It must have been in an accident. Well, I don't think so. You see, the scars would have been different, more like the scars all over the rest of your body, most of them 12, 15 years old. Scars, I guess, from bullets. Trap more, that sort of thing. A war? Well, maybe, but uh, see, the trouble is, you've been sewn up better than any army normally sews up its boys. It's all very peculiar. How am I ever going to find out who I am if I've been turned into somebody else? Jeff, I don't know what to do. Help me. Break it down. Fast! What? Break it down! Thank you. 
Does the name Carlos mean anything to you? Nothing, should it? Sure. Vague feelings, anything. Carlos. I don't know, vague feelings. Yes. The feelings of... Uh... Danger. Something. I don't know, Jeff, who's Carlos? Just a name. Why here, Jeff, when you're as good as you are? No, they, uh, they said I was drunk. They said I, I killed two uh, patients on the operating table because I was drunk. Well, I could have got away with one, but not two. They said they saw a pattern emerging, so they, uh, they kicked me out. I'll never give a man like me a knife and cloak it in respectability. Hey, Billy Pamor, you don't. Fuck off. He recognized me. He knows who I am. Hey, hey what's up? What? Hey, hey I want to talk to you. Stop a minute, will you? Come on. Stop. I said to my heart, man, to kill, monsieur. He knows who I am. No, 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 you're not well enough. If anyone who wants you dead is going to be back, now they know that you're alive, we've got to get you out of this village. It's not safe for you here anymore. Uh, uh, Jack will be coming for you. He owes me a favor. He'll get you to Marseille. Oh, and, uh, here. What's this? Well, it's what money I've got. It isn't much, but it's a start. Jeff, I can't take oh, it. Oh, rubbish. I don't need it. You do. The passport as well. Get it altered. Pierre Jacques knows a man who'll do it for you. It wasn't enough to save my life. It's the most interesting work I've done in years. Anyway, I'm stuck with you now. I've got an investment in you. <laughs> I won't forget this. Oh, um, I have been keeping back a crucial piece of the uh, of the puzzle. I was waiting for you to get stronger, but now we're out of time. You better come and have a look at it. What am I looking for? Oh, uh, tell me what you see. Microfilm numbers. Yeah, and above the numbers. Gemeinschaft Bank Zurich. I don't understand. Well, you see, in Switzerland, numbers are the same as a, a signature in a bank account. Where did you get this? From your hip. It had been surgically implanted in your hip. And you didn't tell me before. Well, Do you know what this means? Well, I don't know. I presume it means... In this it's... bank in Zurich, with these numbers, that's where the answers will be. Well, I always thought answers are a bit overrated anyway. Well, there he is now. You better hurry. Well, I'll be back. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, good luck.
Fancy. What are the good hotels in Zurich? Well, there's the Ritz, the Palace, the Carillon du Lac. Du Lac. The Carillon du Lac. It's very exclusive, sir. If you don't have a reservation, take me there. See you, money. It's good to see you again, sir. It's been a while. Yes, I guess it has. Do me a favor, Herr Stossel. I sprained my hand last week. It's difficult to write. Would you fill in the registration for me? Oh, it's not a problem, sir. Hey, would you like me to call for the hotel doctor? Uh, not now. Perhaps later. No, uh, I do need your signature, sir, uh, and your passport. Something wrong, Mr. Bourne? My passport's at the bottom of my case. I'll bring it down later. Yes, sir. I'll get the key. I, um, I assume you require the usual conditions for your stay with us? Perhaps they've changed. How did you understand them? Whoever phones or comes for you is to be told you are out, and you are to be informed immediately. The one exception is your employer, Redstone 71, correct? I won't forget your efficiency, Herr Stossel. You've always been more than generous, Mr. Ball. Oh, I'm sick of all this, Peter. I want to get married, I want to have a baby, uh, well, I want to learn to play the saxophone. <laughs> you always say that before you have to give a paper. Wait till tonight, you'll be the star. And you won't be here. Marie. No, I don't want to leave. I have to. France has today expelled three high-ranking Cuban diplomats in connection with the worldwide search of a man called Carlos, believed to be responsible for the assassination of United States Ambassador Howard Leland. Ambassador Leland was shot once through the throat by an unseen gunman using a high-powered rifle. If there's no listing Carlos under Treadstone 71, try it as Treadstone without the number. Murder and assassination, irrespective of political ideology. What? Did you try company or corp or ink? In connection with the murders of German intelligence officer Ernst What about two words separated? Tread Stone. Arms dealer Brahim Hanif and John Phillips, distinguished British member of parliament. What well, there must be a listing Carlos operator. How about the boroughs outside of Manhattan? Queens, uh, Brooklyn. Of Michel Villiers. No, I, I don't know what sort of business they're in. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, investment banking, Today, securities. Delegates from the security and intelligence Look, branches of a dozen Could I persuade you to check the unlisted book? Strategy on international now, just tell me if the number is there, Miss. You don't have to tell me the actual. The well, don't tell me you don't have access. I know you do. 
And tell us what new evidence you have linking Carlos with the recent assassination yes, I understand. of Ambassador Leland in Marseille. Thank you very much for your trouble. I, I have no uh, new evidence concerning Wait. the uh, Leland case. I know you. We have increased uh, security measures at all of our foreign embassies, and of course we're cooperating with Interpol and the French authorities in a uh, worldwide search for the terrorist Carlos. You were responsible for Ambassador Leland's safety. How do you feel about his assassination? Who are you? Why do I know you? I feel a sense of outrage and uh, deep personal loss. He was a close friend. When we find Carlos, uh, and we will, I intend to uh, question him myself. And that's all I can say. Thank you. This is Nigel Coleman reporting from Nice. Carlos. May I help you, sir? Yes, I have an account here. If you tell me the number of zeros in your account, sir, I'll be able to direct you to the correct office. Three zeros. Take the elevator, sir. Uh, fifth floor. Three zero account on the way to the fifth floor. My name is Fritz Koenig, sir. Three zero accounts rarely come in without an appointment, sir. Ah, I'm afraid you startled our man in the lobby. I can't help that. I'm in a hurry. Of course. Uh, if you'll sign in. Your signature. Of course. Uh, would you wait in here, please? Where are you taking that? To signature verifications, of course. I'm in a great hurry, Herr Koenig. I'm following procedures you yourself requested, sir. Got his fingerprint. We read it on here. Walter Apfel at your service. Mr. Apfel. I trust you are enjoying your stay in Zurich? Very much. My room overlooks the lake. It's beautiful. Oh. Shall I unlock this for you, or would you prefer to do it yourself? Be my guest, please. Open it. Oh, no, sir. I can unlock it for you, but the opening is your responsibility. If your identity is listed, it's not my position to... Of course. It's just that I'm in a hurry. I need to transfer funds out of the country, Mr. Apfel. Can you do that for me? For that, I do need to know your name. Fine. Open the box. Let's get to it.
something wrong. No, everything's fine. My name is Jason Bourne. Jason. My privilege to know you. Your identity will remain confidential, of course. You have the word of an officer of the Gemeinschaft Bank. Thank you, Mr. Eiffel. I'd like funds transferred to the Bank of France in Port Noir under the name of Dr. Jeffrey Washburn. All right. What amount? A million dollars? Fine. Anything further, sir? Seven million dollars transferred to my account. Where, sir? Paris. Very good, sir. Which bank? I'm sure you have an affiliated bank in Paris. Uh, yes, of course. The Valois Bank of Paris. The Valois Bank, yes. And 300,000 francs in cash now. The balance to remain here. The paperwork won't take a minute, sir. I'll be back with your money. Money, sir. Thank you. Any time we can be of assistance, it would be our pleasure. Thank you. in the lobby. He's back in English. How many? <laughs> Just one. He's outside in a silver Mercedes. Stossel, this is Mr. Bourne in 402. I'd like uh, my bill prepared immediately in a taxi. 
I'm on my way down. Well, the taxi's waiting, sir, and your bill in francs and dollars, as usual. There may be messages from my company. Keep them till I send you a forwarding address. Oh, very good, sir. Could you send this for me, please? If there's a reply, I'll be at the Bertinelli lecture. Certainly, Doctor. Thank you. May I accompany you to Bertinelli's lecture, Doctor? You're into interest rates? Deeply. <laughs> well, I know you. Of course you do. I'm the one who applauded loudest for your paper. And we have the next slide, please. Let us get oh. What are you doing? Is there another way out of here? How should I know? Tighter monetary policies than Germany. What was I saying? The graph below shows the yield curve slopes and inflation rates for Germany and her principal economic partners, France, Italy, and the Netherlands. Since the inception of the EMS in 1979, there has been a marked convergence of inflation rates. As proxy by the yield curve slopes, this has been due to the gradual tightening of monetary policies with France, Italy, and the Netherlands tending to have tighter monetary policies than Germany. This supports our view that a deflationary bias has been imposed on the rest of Europe by Germany via the EMS. Kill you too. and now move it. <laughs> What's at the restaurant? I don't, I don't understand why we're going I to the restaurant. I don't know. Oh now God. turn around.
walk into the restaurant with me. You said to drive you here. You said if I drove you here, you'd let me go. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah. No. I won't do it again. Yes, you will. No. There'll come a time when you think you can make it, and you'll try. Believe me when I tell you, you won't make it. I won't. I won't do it. If I know you'll let me go. I will. When? When it no longer matters what you say or do. Uh, 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 I don't want to hurt you. Don't make me. Uh, Comb your hair. You look a mess. If you make any trouble inside, somebody's bound to get hurt. It'll be your responsibility. I told them nothing. Then what are you afraid of? I'm simply a tourist having dinner. You cannot, please. You must leave. Tell me what you know. Quickly. Others may have talked. The police... The police have been here, Interpol, looking for you, Miner. And others who would stop at nothing. They know this place. Please. I've told them I haven't seen you. They'd kill me. You're exaggerating. Don't do this to me. Why are you so afraid? Word went out a month ago that you were not dead. Anyone with any information should call a number set up by Interpol. Sizable rewards offered by several countries. Information to be held in strictest confidence. And you needed the money. No, no. God, you've got to believe me on my life. I swear I didn't. Who did? Sherlock, maybe. Sherlock. The envelope came from him to me to you. You know him. He'd never say anything. Where is he? Where he always is. Don't play games with me. Löwenstrasse, of course. What number? It hasn't changed. Answer the question. Thirty-seven. What was in the envelope? I didn't look. I don't know. I will shoot you if you lie again. Money? I suppose, yes. I didn't take any. If there was some discrepancy... What was the money for? What was it for? Why are you doing this to me? I read the papers. Watch the news on TV. It was front page in three languages. The assassination of Ambassador Leland. Come on. 
don't want to go in there. You're coming in. I don't want to hear anymore. Come on. I don't want to be a witness. Please, don't make me go. I won't go to the police. Leave it to me. If somebody answers from inside, tell them you've got a message from the dry Albanazer. Yeah? I don't speak German, Mr. Chernick, but I have a message for you. Who are you? What is it? It's from a friend at Dry Oppenhauser. I don't know anybody there. <laughs> Is there another Chernick in the building? He said 37 Lohenstrasse. Put it under the door. I, I can't. It isn't written down. I, I need to make a visual identification. <laughs> you. What do you want from me? Stay in here. Keep quiet. You swore the last one would be the end of it. I can't risk it anymore. The envelope you gave our friend at the Oppenhauser. Who gave it to you? It's a messenger. Who else? Where did it come from? How should I know? It arrived in the boxes. Usually I unpacked it, sent it on. You were the one who set up the system. Why are you asking me these things? You were the one who said it was too dangerous to come here anymore. There was money missing. Then it wasn't paid. I never opened the envelopes, you know that. Missing. I don't believe you. Anything missing, you wouldn't have taken the assignment. And you took the assignment. What assignment? Why are you really here? Who is the girl? Kill me! Get in! Get in! You killed that poor helpless man. Drive! Where? You haven't said where. Uh, safe place. Hiding place. Oh. Red door. Boarding house. Uh, step deck, Strauss. Strauss. Mm.
quiet. We're the police. Police. Undercover. He kept hitting me. And he killed that poor man in the wheelchair. Herr König. Dr. Saint-Jacques. She was with him. He killed Charnock. Yes, yes, he killed that man. I mean, he's wounded. How badly? I don't know. I, he fainted. I don't know. His, his head was bleeding. Who is he? He goes by many names, many disguises. He is a chameleon. But as you have seen, he is a killer. A brutal killer. Then, then he is an assassin. Yes. Yes. Did he say how he planned to get out of Zurich, uh, where he planned to go? No, no, no. He was almost incoherent. He... Think now. He said nothing. Oh, wait. wait a minute. He was mumbling something. A street. A street name. It was... Uh, just... Step. Wait. Step Step yeah. Steptenstrasse. That's it. That's it. A boarding house with a red door. Vielen Dank, Monsieur. I'm all right. That's okay. He was trying to kill me! Does the name Carlos mean anything to you? I intend to uh, question Carlos myself. They're very for your corpse!
Mr. Vaughn, finally. That's him. My God, you with them? My compliments. These are the police. Better and better. Their conditions were right. God, take me back to the hotel. Take her to the river, kill her. Wait. Yell your head off, scream loud! Stop it. Whatever you're getting paid for this, I'll double it. We're at the bank, you know I can do it. I wouldn't touch your money. Money's money, why not? Are you serious? Wealth is relative to the time you have to enjoy it. I wouldn't last five minutes. Put him in the car. Break his fingers. No! Oh! Oh! Ah!
up. Get away. Get no. out. Get in the car and go. Yeah. They'll be back. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Get back for it. Get up. Get in that car and go like him. No! Try to rape me! You saved me now! Get up! I hope that hurt. Who is it? A beneath madame. Wait. Thank okay. you very much. Where are we? Regensburg, 30 miles west of Zurich. How did we get here? I made a decision. One of the more difficult ones I made in my life. Perhaps because I nearly lost my life. But because of what you did, I decided to help you. But only for a while, for a few hours, to help you get away. Knowing what I am, I don't know what you are. All I know is that you came back and saved my life. You're not afraid of me anymore. Of course I am. I saw you kill. You're good at it. It was horrible. But you saved my life. Are you that naive? Not really. I have your gun.
The man at the hotel called you doctor. What sort of doctor? Of economics, not medicine. I work for the Canadian Treasury Board. Why was there no stink in the paper about the abduction of the beautiful economist from Canada? How did you manage that? I called a friend, one that wasn't at the Bertinelli lecture. Told her I was okay to field whatever questions came up, that I was having an affair, that I'd be back in a couple of days. <laughs> That's all I get, you shake your head? I saved your life. What do you want, a medal? The truth. I don't know the truth. You can do better than that. Not much. They say my name is Bourne, Jason Bourne. They? What are you talking about? My life began a month ago, when I was washed up on the beach in the French fishing village of Port Noir. I have no past, Doctor, no memory of a past. I have no idea who I am, what I am, why I'm so good at killing, or who those people are who are trying to kill me. Do you really expect me to believe that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. I can't believe it myself. How could I expect you to? The insanity is, it's the truth. When the fat man at Dry Offenhauser came over, you told me to turn to the wall, that there was no point in being identified. There wasn't. Well, that's not the reasoning of an assassin? I appreciate what you're trying to do, but use your brain, doctor. Envelopes full of money were delivered to me for assignments taken. I've got a numbered account with, with $15 million in it. Now, where'd that money come from? Hmm? From Treadstone 71? Well, who are they? Why can't I find them? What does a man like me, with the skills I obviously have, do to get that kind of money? What occurs to you? That everything's in one hell of a mess. Be serious. Is there anything familiar, Jason? Mediterranean power struggles, Mideast problems, arms deals. I know what they're talking about, Marie. In fact, I know a lot more than what's in these papers. Maybe you're with the Foreign Service. With expertise in small arms and martial arts, a numbered bank account. Think about traveling. What do you see? Trains, cars, planes? All of them. And who meets you? Other faces? People? Streets. Streets? Why streets? I don't know. Faces and shadows. Faces without features meet me in streets. No offices? Business offices? Sometimes, not usually. All right. These faces, are they men or women? Men, mostly. What do you talk about? I don't know. There aren't any voices. There aren't any words. But you had appointments. Who made the appointments? How did you know where to go? Who to see? Cables. Telephone calls. From? I don't know. Jason, you had to call them back. Was it Treadstone? Think. I can't. No, they reached me. I never called them. Jason, what comes to mind when you think of money? The first thing, the first impression. Jason? Death. Buy yourself a ticket back to Canada. Back to Peter. Oh, Peter. 
I'd forgotten it was you behind us in the hotel lobby. You misunderstood, Jason. You're going home tomorrow. You're going to learn to play the saxophone, marry Peter, and forget all this. Peter is nothing more than my boss and an old friend from school. At one point in the beginning, I thought, well, maybe. But he turned out to be deeply committed to helpless women. So am I. I'm coming to Paris with you. Yeah. You're not. The last time I went near that bank account, half of Zurich tried to kill me. That's exactly why you need me. I know banks. I know the right questions to ask, how to interpret the answers. Marie, I'm not going to drag you into this any further. I don't want you hurt. Jason, I have rank in the Treasury Department of the Canadian government. Clearance access, embassy protection, all of that can be quite helpful. I've already called Peter in Ottawa and asked him to find out about your mysterious treadstone. You shouldn't have done that. I want to help you, Jason. At first, it was because you saved me from being raped. Saved my life, I owed you. But then... You're not a killer. You can kill, but you're not a killer. That's a distinction I happen to believe in more than you do. Please let me help you. Put your arms around me, Jason. I need to be held, even if it's only for tonight. We need to forget the violence.
keep spinning around in the wind over and over there's fire images a woman a child a beautiful child burning I feel responsible I may not be able to live with what's out there. I mean that. Jason, even at the beginning when you were very rough, even then there was something in your eyes, some, I don't know, reluctance. You couldn't have hurt them. It's impossible. Not you. was very dangerous. It's a super secret top echelon group in the CIA. The CIA? Is he sure his information's accurate? He called a friend in Washington. He's with the NSC. My God. He was furious that Peter even knew about the existence of a group called Treadstone. He's flying up to Canada to debrief him. Now do you want to go back? Ask me after the bank. It won't be open for another hour. Let's go to the Sobon and see if the reports on Ambassador Leland's assassination jog my memory. Let's get a cab. Look. Oh my God, that's you. I was there. I know these people. Ambassador Leland, U.S. Naval Intelligence at House in McLean, Virginia. And this man, I saw him on television in Zurich. I know him, but I can't remember his name. He's important, Marie. He... Somehow close to me. What's his name? He's not identified, Jason. You're not identified. It's the funeral for the son of General Villiers. Carlos again. Leland was shot in the throat. Carlos's signature, it says, is to shoot his victims in the throat. I shot Chernak in the throat.
Max Vobisko. He comes spirit him to me. Are your days comfortable? The days they draw to an end, but they are made comfortable. Good. What is the report from Zurich? Born has disappeared. They think the woman is with him. Disappeared? Where was Connie? He has a dozen men. Four of our men were killed. Koenig says Born has sent the money to Paris. He comes to me. Have someone at the bank who can recognize him. And if possible, take the woman first and bring her to me. Yes, Carlos. Numbers four six seven eight two two five five. Got it. Here we go. Yes, uh, hello. I transferred a sizable amount of money from Switzerland, and I'd like to check on whether it's there. That would be in our foreign department, sir. I will connect you. Look. I transferred upwards of seven million American dollars to your bank. I've been trying to check on whether it's there or not. Now, are you going to help me or are you going to transfer me to some other department? Who am I talking to? I can of course help you, monsieur. I am Pierre Dalmacour, an officer of the bank, if you will give me your name. Born, B-O-U-R-N-E, Jason Born. The money came from the Gemeinschaft Bank in Zurich. Now, did it get to you? All transactions are confidential, monsieur Born. We couldn't give you that information over the phone. Look, I'm in a hurry. I'm leaving Paris you and I- come by the bank? Yes, yes, I guess I'll have to. Um, where's your office? I'll need to see all the papers and the confirmation. Of course. My office is at the rear, first floor on the right. Hello? Hello? Damn phones. I am here, Monsieur Bon. Hello? I can't hear anything. His name is Dumbcourt. His office is main floor rear, through on the right. 